Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy at Attic Treasures Etc. And I'm really glad you're here today. I thought we would do a little uh, craft with me session because I have spent the last week or so cleaning out and reorganizing my craft room. And one of the things that I discovered is that I had too many books. So I started throwing books out that, you know, weren't gonna really be good for a junk journal because I have so many others that are good for a junk journal. And I also had a lot of maps. And I was going to throw away this because I have um, several atlases that are kind of vintage and and really better for use in junk journals. But then I started thinking, but maybe I can use these to make, you know, something out of because there's there's a lot of usable space here. And what I came up with is I made these little envelopes. And since I uh, I spent like the last, oh, I don't know how long, I was in a like a mass making marathon and I made 10 journals all at the same time. And now I'm sort of out of embellishments too. So this is a good opportunity to use what I have. I have lots of maps. I have lots of napkins. I have lots of lace scraps. So I thought, well, let's make some envelopes out of them. And why not do it together? So that's what I thought we would do today. These Reader's Digest Drive America maps are virtually in every thrift store that I've been in because people use GPS now and when maps expire, then, you know, they're, they're really not that, that helpful anymore. So you're gonna be able to find a lot of these. Okay, so I'm just gonna tear one out, uh, one of these pages. I'm going to get a lot of use out of that. And I'm going to, also I'm going to uh, cut this piece off, this green part. And maybe use that another time, but maybe not. It's not like I need it. Kind of a nice little table. Okay, that'll be good for something. All right, now the other thing that I want to do is even up this edge, but I'm going to cut a little bit of it off as well. So, get this out of the way. This is going to form the in, you know, the front part of the envelope where you put things, and then this is going to be the flap, and I would like it to be just under four inches. So I'm going to fold this over. Okay. Now, I could just leave it sort of ragged like that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to cut that part off. And then that gives me enough of a flap. And these are 12 inches long, these pages, so I'm going to cut it in half and get two envelopes out of it. Cut it at the six inch mark. And I've got two envelopes. Well, one's a little tiny bit bigger, that's okay. Some wax paper here and the fat the napkins that I've chosen today to use for these is um, this one this is half one I already cut it in half and I've already removed the base layer and this one <laughs> if I can find it to open it okay so I thought I would use both of these and let's see this is right side up so i want to put the map underneath it right side up as well i'm going to cover it with mod podge and then lay the napkin on top so i hope everybody's doing okay we have been so busy we're still redoing our kitchen and by redoing what i mean is 
my husband's painting the cabinets and he also put up a tile backsplash and um, so that's been a, a big job and it, it's not done yet because we we keep getting other things <laughs> in the way too like when I said to my husband in the middle of the project honey I, I'm sorry I can't deal with my pantry can you please help me redo my pantry because I knew it was going to be a really long time and it had reach critical mass <laughs> if you know what I mean and really really needed to redo it so emptied the pantry he fixed up uh, shelves according to the way I wanted them and I love it now okay I'm just gonna lay the napkin on here try to get it straight <laughs> This is just a transparency that I found, a box of transparencies at the thrift store. And this is a really handy little item that my husband made for me. The first tiles that we were thinking about using in our, uh, for the backsplash were hex tiles. But they're marble and they don't cut very well, as, they don't cut nearly as well as man-made stone so I said well what if you put a handle on it for me and some felt on the bottom and then I can use it for projects like this and also works really well when I want to apply even uh, pressure on my stamp platform so I love it and I thought well if I like it this much I wonder if other people would so he made more and they're going to be available in my Etsy shop for those of you who would like to use something like that. I always seem to get ear bubbles though. I always think I have enough Mod Podge <laughs> and then I don't. Okay, so I'm going to set that one aside to dry and start working on the other one. The weather's gotten really cold. Um, no snow or anything it's not that cold but just cold enough to kind of not feel very comfortable outside been too too busy with in-home projects to really go out and, and get our walks in um, hoping that will change soon so I have lots of journals in my Etsy shop now in case anybody is interested my, the link to my shop is listed below in the description. Okay, let's try this. Okay, so I'm going to trim around this one now and then apply the top coat of Mod Podge. Some of the napkins I get at the Dollar Tree, some of them I find at garage sales and things like that or thrift stores but you have to be careful some of the ones at the Dollar Tree um, they're like the buffet napkins the 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 long narrow ones and the pattern is only on the front it is only on that center section and the rest of it is just white so kind of a rip off but you know maybe that's all you need and after all it is only a dollar now apply the top coat 
I really like using Tim, the Tim Holtz collage paper for projects like this because um, it doesn't tear as much, but it's also more expensive. And I have lots of napkins. They are overflowing my little drawer that they're in. So since I have all these extra things and not very many embellishments <laughs> on hand at the moment, thought it would be a good idea to use these up. So what is it about the hunt? Oh my word. I love going to antique stores and thrift stores and the dollar store, things like that. And it's like, oh, I just trying to find things. And when I do find something special, I just love getting it. And then I get it home and I'm like, okay, where do I put this? That one tore a little bit right there. Ah, get back down there. Okay, that's all right. So right now, I'm pretty sure that if I buy any more books, I'm just going to have to poke out my eyes because I have more than I will ever use. Also, I have awesome friends who... Um, help me by giving me things like books and uh, paper and things like that. I have one dear friend whose mother, whom I have never met, actually has started something that she calls a Kathy box. And she's been going through her late husband's um, library of sorts and saving old books for me and um, just all kinds of stuff and it is amazing some of the things that she has gifted to me out of the kindness of her heart so I really don't need to go out and buy anything more I really need to just be using what I have but the thrill of the hunt <laughs> it's like oh I don't want to not go but I have to okay and now I'm going to uh, turn the camera off while I dry these. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. These are dry, so I'm just going to go ahead and start trimming. Um, getting them ready to put together, start decorating. We don't have any internet at the moment. For some reason, our internet went out. It's been out most of the day. I'm not sure when I'll be able to get this uploaded, but I don't need the internet to do this part. So, well, I don't know about you, but I am so ready for this pandemic to be over. Now with the Omicron variation, these have I mean, it sounds like it's more transmissible, but maybe less uh, less severe as far as the you know how sick you get. So that's good. But you know we're we're vaccinated and boosted, so you know, I'm feeling pretty good about that. But I would just really really like it to be over. So this is the kind of project that you could make just a whole bunch at one time and and have them on hand even if you don't sew them together or, or decorate them just to be able to have bases I mean there's there's something to be said for just basically having um, bases okay so this one goes like that and this one goes like this Okay, now to um, reinforce and strengthen the edges of these, I'm going to use some washi tape. So for this mostly blue one, I'll use that one. And this one, I'm thinking kind of like that. I also really like this, so I'll use that. So 
So I know these are about four inches long, or six inches rather. And I'll just go a little over six inches. Okie dokie. Blue. Those also double as a nice little paperweight. husband's out doing the grocery shopping right now. Usually we go together, but since it's been a while since I was able to actually sit down and do a video, I asked if he would mind if I stayed home, and he's so good. We have um, an app on both of our phones called AnyList, and it's all one word, AnyList, and we use it all the time. And the reason we use it all the time is because we can put things on a shopping list and it doesn't have to just be a shopping list. It can be any kind of list, hence the name. And so we use it a lot for shopping, but I've also put um, the steps for like when we're setting up and, and uh, taking down our RV, you know, checklists and things like that. I, I, I use it uh, for if we're going to be going on a trip to make sure that I get everything that I need. We pack everything. I also uh, can put in recipes. And um, if I need an ingredient in the recipe, I just tap on it and it automatically adds it to a grocery list and you can organize it by store, um, price, anything. But anyhow, with any list, since we share it with our phones, he's out at the grocery store right now and if I think of something that we need, I can just add it to the list and then he gets it on his phone. So, and I can see what store he's at because when he crosses things off, um, I'll know, you know, where, where he's at. So it's super, super, super handy. Been using it for several years now and I absolutely love it. Now the basic uh, app itself is free if you want to add um, recipes to it or meal planning rather you can use it for meal planning then that's like a um, eight dollar a year subscription and then you can plan your meals and plan your shopping list according to those meals and um, I just really 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 love it so we've been using it for a while so anyway he's at the grocery store and I did have to add a couple of things to the list while he was out Okay, that's looking pretty cute so far. And that's looking pretty cute so far too. So on the flap, I'm gonna take my Crocodile Corner Chomper and I'm gonna put a half inch radius on the flap. Just to give it a little bit of interest. Okay, I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and do some sewing, and I will be right back. Okay, so I have sewn all around. I sewed from here up there um, across the top flap and then back down on both of these, so everything is nice and secure. So now I want to ink them up, and for this one, I think I'm going to use Distress Oxide in peacock feathers because I really like that color and I think it goes nicely with the colors that are here in the envelope. And the pattern of the napkin. Then once we get them inked up, then we can finish um, decorating them. Hmm, Kitty just walked in. Hello, Lizzie. We tried taking her camping with us this past summer. 
It was not a good situation. She hated it. She scared us. <laughs> it was, she absolutely hated it. So we ended up vowing never to try that again. She just does not like riding in the car. But she's definitely the queen of the neighborhood. Okay, and this one, uh, this color is Faded Jeans, Distress Oxide. And I really like the way that looks with this blue on the napkin. Perfect shade of blue. I love how the map shows through. You can see all the different uh, roads and bodies of water, things like that. What I like about using maps and collaging on them with napkins or collage paper is being able to see the pattern underneath. Okay, so for this one, I would like to take this little scrap of lace and fold it in such a way that it forms like a little fan, I guess, and put it up there in the corner. So, let's see here. I wonder if I should just staple it. I think I'm going to do that. I'll staple it first. Just use my little tiny attacher. Some glue on here. <laughs> Keeps wanting to slip out of my fingers. So our cat never played with any official cat toys that we've brought home for her. Much to our dismay. We think we're doing something really fun for her and then she doesn't have any interest in it whatsoever but I have a button <laughs> that I tied a piece of string to and that's her toy it's just a regular button with a piece of string and one thing that we like to do is um, hide the button underneath the door to the linen closet in the hallway we have wooden floors and um, so the string just sticks out from underneath the uh, underneath the door. So she's pretty convinced that it's a mouse <laughs> and uh, she just enjoys playing with it. Okay, so on this one, I would like to take a piece of this pink and gold brick rack and I'm gonna attach it right there, glue it down. So I put an ad in uh, the Facebook marketplace a while back offering to help people declutter. Um, so this was maybe a year ago. You know, if people have any broken jewelry or old buttons or anything like that. And actually it might have been, even been a buy nothing site. So anyhow, um, I got a response and this dear lady had this pretty good size, like a size of a, a box for maybe a pair of, um, oh, I, I don't know, like, you know, those boxes that big tennis shoes and stuff come in. And it was full of buttons and broken earrings and all that kind of stuff. It was like overwhelming even. So this is just some lace that I found and it's like the shape of little leaves so I just cut out the individual leaves I'm just going to glue it on the flap here but anyway so these buttons there's like I don't know there must have been thousands of buttons of all different shapes and sizes and and uh, age there was some really cool vintage ones so, um, one of the things that I did is I was reorganizing, reorganizing my craft room, 
is I decided I was going to tackle these buttons because up until now I have literally just taken the box and just started digging out digging through it and <laughs> that gets really tedious after a while it's like I'm looking for a certain button I know what color I want I know what size I want so I bought some of those um, compartment those little bins with the different compartments in them and I literally organized all those buttons. I washed them off first. I put them in a, like a Tupperware strainer. There's a little scrap of lace that needs a home. Anyway, a little Tupperware strainer and you know that great big old yellow Tupperware bowl, like the, the giant one? So um, I put the strainer inside that bowl and then uh, poured all the buttons in there and filled it with soapy water and then just kept kind of agitating it <laughs> with my hands and then letting them soak. And then I organized all those buttons. And I'm so happy I did. I mean, it took me a couple of days to do it. Um, okay, so that's really cute and that's really cute. So, but how do we keep these closed, right? Well, what I did uh, with these I was trying to figure out how I was going to keep them closed. I wanted it kind of loose so that when you put things in, it's not, it doesn't um, strain at it too much. So um, I wanted to be able to put a few things in so that it would, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I wanted to be able to fill it. <laughs> so what I did, I also have a ton of envelopes that need to be used. So I'm just, I took an envelope like this and I glued it shut and now I'm literally just going to cut, um, just about an inch and a quarter. I'm going to put a stamp on it. So I want to make sure that I get, well, that's about an inch and a quarter. So a little, maybe an inch and a half. And this is going to end up being like a little sleeve. So I've got this piece left over that I can use for a pocket. And let's ink these up. And put some washi tape on too. So <laughs> the way I, um, how I thought of doing this, it's, uh, it was so random. So I was just trying to figure out, well, what can I do to, you know, seal these up? Because I don't need to do the top and bottom edges, the folds. And I have this envelope of stamps that I cut out. If you order stamps um, in the mail, the post office sends you this nice catalog full of, you know, the stamps and stuff that they have for sale that you can order. Well, I'm thinking, man, that's that's perfect. So <laughs> I went through, I had three of them, I think, and I went through the two, uh, or the three catalogs, and I fussy cut out all of the little pictures of stamps and then ran them through my Xyron, my little one and a half inch Xyron. Yeah, create a sticker. And now I have, all of these little stamp stickers. I, I cut them out with my um, my little tiny scallop scissors. But anyway, I digress. So I'm holding this envelope because that's how I've been storing them. And I just thought, I wonder if that'll fit in there. And look, it does. And then that's how I got the idea to make these little sleeves out of the ends of envelopes. Okay. So now I'll just do some washi tape here to kind of match the envelopes a little bit. And these are four inches, so I need, I'm gonna do nine just so I, I know that I have enough. Okay, so I'll just glue this up. I'm just literally putting this just 
you know, right down the center as straight as I can. And then across on the other side. ink it up even more but I don't, I don't think it needs to be totally covered and then the same thing with this one so um, last week we went to Michael's. I was looking for washi tape. I was hoping that they would have a Black Friday sale and they really didn't but I bought some washi tape anyway because I was getting pretty low and then we went to Hobby Lobby and they had like all these washi tapes in a package for $15.99. I was like what? <laughs> so they were hanging hanging on a, on a hook in these packages and I went to pick one up from the bottom you know, to take it off of the hook so I could see it. And the bottom fell open and all the washi tapes came flying out <laughs> all over the floor. I mean, all over the floor. Okay, so let's see. We're going to use a blue one. We're going to use butterflies. A blue one and a yellow one. So I love my Zyron's machines. I have several of different sizes and you can you know either buy them at Michael's or uh, something like that or I see them at thrift stores also but I use them all the time we'll just put a little stamp right there in the center so I had no idea when we started ordering stamps at the post office it's gonna send me free uh, craft supplies you know, how very nice of them, right? <laughs> I had no idea. I got it, I went, what? So I went through and like I said, I got all the ones out of there that I wanted and then I just ditched the rest of the magazine. Or the rest of the catalog, rather. Okay. Now we have a closure, a little sleeve closure for this one. And one for this one. So since I have so many maps, so many envelopes, and so many napkins, I think I'll be making a ton of these. So I hope you enjoyed this video and a uh, little craft along. And I've got uh, several other projects that I need to be doing. I've got four journals that are in process. Um, and so they all need pages and embellishments and all kinds of fun stuff. So if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Tell me um, in the comments which one is your favorite. I'm not sure which one is my favorite because I rather like them all. I like doing them all a little bit different. Um, so anyway, let me know. Uh, please hit the notification bell and subscribe if you haven't already and always let the serendipity find you because that's how I came up with this total serendipity anyway have a wonderful everybody wonderful day everybody happy crafting and I'll see you in my next video bye bye